Class 12 Accountancy Presented by Educate.com In this video, we are going to provide Accounting for Partnership Basic Concepts Special Aspects of Partnership Accounts Distribution of Profit Among Partners In the previous video, we discussed about first special aspect of the partnership accounts, namely the maintenance of partners capital accounts. We learned about the two methods namely the fixed and fluctuating capital methods of maintaining the partners capital accounts. In this video, we are going to learn about the second special aspect of partnership accounts namely the distribution of profits among the partners. When the partnership agreement is made, the ratio in which the profits or losses of the firm should be distributed among the partners will be included in the partnership deed. If the partnership deed is silent about this aspect, then the profits or losses should be shared equally by all the partners, irrespective of the capital amount contributed by them. When studying accountancy in the previous classes, we learned that as part of preparing the financial statements, we need to first prepare the trading account which contains the items directly related to trading. If there is any credit balance, it represents the gross profit. This gross profit is written on the debit side of the trading account as the gross profit to be carried down. There could be loss also, but let's first deal with the case wherein there is just profit. Once this balance is transferred to the profit and loss account as the gross profit brought down, we transfer the balances from various other expenses account and revenues accounts. After considering all the expenses and revenues in the profit and loss account, the final balance represents the net profit. In case of sole proprietorship form of business, this net profit is directly transferred to the capital account. However, in case of a partnership firm, this net profit should be transferred to the profit and loss appropriation account. So, we can write here as profit and loss appropriation account. As we have discussed earlier, this profit and loss appropriation account is just an extension of the profit and loss account and is used to make the necessary adjustments for salaries to be paid to the partners, commission to be paid to the partners, interest on capital, interest on drawings, etc. After all these appropriations or adjustments are made, the resulting balance is distributed among the partners. So, the profit and loss appropriation account shows us how the profits are appropriated or distributed among the partners. So far, we have been discussing the scenario in which there is a profit. In case there is a loss, the profit and loss appropriation account need not be prepared. However, in case there are any drawings, and interest is collected on the drawings, then in order to make the necessary adjustments, we have to prepare the profit and loss appropriation account even if there is a loss. Otherwise, if there is no interest on the drawings, we don't have to prepare the profit and loss appropriation account and the losses can be directly adjusted from the profit and loss account itself. For the sake of our discussion, let's just consider the scenario wherein the profit and loss appropriation account should be prepared even in case of loss also. Let us now look into the journal entries for each of the adjustments in the profit and loss appropriation account. Let us first start with how we are going to transfer the balance of the profit and loss account to the profit and loss appropriation account. In case the profit and loss account has a credit balance, then it represents the net profit, right? As you know, the net profit is a credit balance in the profit and loss account and for transferring this credit balance to the profit and loss appropriation account, we should debit the profit and loss account. As this profit is a credit balance, it should be transferred to the profit and loss appropriation account on the credit side. So, the corresponding credit entry would be in the profit and loss appropriation account. Now, let us see how this journal entry is posted to the profit and loss appropriation account. By the way, the scope of this discussion is just posting of the entries to the profit and loss appropriation account. So, we are not going to touch the other entries in the journal. We discuss 
only the profit and loss appropriation account related entries so this general entry needs to be posted in the credit side of the profit and loss appropriation account and the details that should be written in the particular column is profit and loss account let us now post this entry into the profit and loss appropriation account let us first write by profit and loss account on the credit side in the particular column as this is a case wherein there is a profit let us now consider the case wherein there is a loss a loss in the profit and loss account is a debit balance and for transferring this debit balance to the profit and loss appropriation account we should make a credit entry in the profit and loss account as we are transferring this debit balance to the profit and loss appropriation account this debit balance will go to the debit side of the profit and loss appropriation account and hence we should debit the profit and loss appropriation account so this general entry should be posted to the debit side of the profit and loss appropriation account and the details that should be written in the particular column is profit and loss account let us now post this entry into the profit and loss appropriation account so we need to write profit and loss account in the particular column on the debit side of the profit and loss appropriation account as this is a case wherein there is a loss also note that in the real time practice either there will be a profit or there will be a loss so only one of these entries exist in both the journal as well as the profit and loss appropriation account it can never be both of them that's it about the transfer of the balance from the profit and loss account to the profit and loss appropriation account let us now see how the interest on capital is handled as the firm is paying the interest on capital the interest on capital is an indirect expense for the business as you know the rule to record any expense incurred is to debit the corresponding expenses account in this case the interest on capital account should be debited also as a reminder i want to reiterate that the interest on capital is paid only in case there is a profit and it is not paid in case there is a loss usually this interest is not paid to the partner directly in cash or check instead it would be credited to the partner's capital account as this interest is paid to the partner it increases the partner's equity or the capital contribution of the partner in the business as you know the rule to record any increase in the capital is to create the corresponding capital account in this case the partner's capital or current account should be created individually note that it will be credited to the capital account if you are maintaining the capital accounts using the fluctuating capital method it will be credited directly to the current account if you are following the fixed capital method and maintaining a separate current account for each of the partners as you know the interest on capital account is a nominal account right as you know we don't carry down the balances from the nominal accounts to the next accounting period instead they should be closed by transferring the balance to the profit and loss account in this special case the balance will be transferred to the profit and loss appropriation account so we need to close this account by transferring the balance to the profit and loss appropriation account now interest on capital will have a debit balance right for transferring this debit balance to the profit and loss appropriation account we need to create the interest on capital account as we are transferring this debit balance to the profit and loss appropriation account it will go on the debit side of the profit and loss appropriation account so we should debit the profit and loss appropriation account now when it comes to posting this general entry needs to be posted on the debit side of the profit and loss appropriation account and the details that should be written in the particular column is interest on capital let us now post this entry to the profit and loss appropriation account let us write interest on capital in the particular column on the debit side and the amount in the amount column this is how we transfer the interest on capital to the profit and loss appropriation account let us now see how the interest on drawings is handled when there are any drawings by any of the partners the interest on the drawings will not be collected from the partners in the form of cash or check immediately rather the interest on the drawings will be charged to the partners capital accounts so when the interest on drawings is charged on the capital the capital of the partner is reducing right the rule to record any reduction in the capital is to debit the corresponding capital account so we should debit the partner's capital or current account with the interest on the drawing amount depending on which method of maintenance of capital account we are following if it is fixed capital method we debit the partner's current account if it is fluctuating capital method we debit the partner's capital account at the same time 
this interest on drawings is an indirect revenue for the business as you know the rule to record any increase in the revenue is to create the corresponding revenue account so in this case we should create the interest on drawings account this interest on drawings account will have a credit balance also this interest on drawings is also a nominal account so at the end of the accounting period we should transfer the balance from the interest on drawings account to the profit and loss account in this special case it will be transferred to the profit and loss appropriation account so for transferring this credit balance to the profit and loss appropriation account we should debit the interest on drawings account also as this is a credit balance it will be transferred to the credit side of the profit and loss appropriation account so we should create the profit and loss appropriation account now when it comes to posting this general entry needs to be posted on the credit side of the profit and loss appropriation account and the details that should be written in the particulars column is interest on drawings let us now post this entry to the profit and loss appropriation account let's write interest on drawings in the particulars column on the credit side and the amount in the amount column this is how the balance from the interest on drawings account is transferred to the profit and loss appropriation account let us now consider the partner's salary as we have learned in the previous classes the salary whether it is salary paid to the employees or salary paid to the partner is an expense right so when the firm is paying the salary to the partner it is incurring an expense the rule to record any expense incurred is to debit the corresponding expenses account in this case the salary to the partner's account should be debited note that the salary to partner account is different from the salary's account that is usually maintained to pay the salaries to the employees also when the salary is paid to the partner it will not be paid directly to the partner in the form of cash or check it would rather be credited to the partner's capital or current accounts depending on which method of maintenance of partner's capital accounts is followed in the firm if it is fixed capital method it will be credited to the partner's current account if it is fluctuating capital method it will be directly credited to the partner's capital account now the salary to the partner account is also a nominal account so at the end of the accounting period its balance should be transferred to the profit and loss account in this special case it should be transferred to the profit and loss appropriation account also every time we pay the salary to the partner we debit the salary to partner account so at the end of the accounting period it will have a debit balance right to transfer this debit balance to the profit and loss appropriation account we should create the salary to partners account also as this is a debit balance that we are transferring to the profit and loss appropriation account we should debit the profit and loss appropriation account with this debit balance amount now when it comes to posting this general entry needs to be posted on the debit side of the profit and loss appropriation account and the details that should be written in the particulars column is salary to partner let's now post this general entry to the profit and loss appropriation account let's write salary to partner in the particulars column and the amount in the amount column this is how the balance from the salary to partner account is transferred to the profit and loss appropriation account let's now consider the partner's commission as we have learned in the previous classes when the firm is paying the commission to the partner it is incurring an expense the rule to record any expense incurred is to debit the corresponding expenses account in this case commission to partner account should be debited note that this commission to partner account is different from the commission account that is usually maintained to pay commission to the agents or others also when this commission is paid to the partner it will not be paid directly to the partner in the form of cash or check it would rather be credited to the partner's capital or current accounts depending on which method of maintenance of partner's capital accounts is followed in the firm if it is fixed capital method it will be credited to the partner's current account if it is fluctuating capital method it will be directly credited to the partner's capital account now this commission to partner account is also a nominal account so at the end of the accounting period its balance should be transferred to the profit and loss account in this special case it should be transferred to the profit and loss appropriation account also every time we pay the commission to the partner we debit the commission to partner account so at the end of the accounting period it will have a debit balance right to transfer this debit balance to the profit and loss appropriation account 
we should create the commission to partners account also as this is a debit balance that we are transferring to the profit and loss appropriation account we should debit the profit and loss appropriation account with this debit balance amount now when it comes to posting this journal entry needs to be posted on the debit side of the profit and loss appropriation account and the details that should be written in the particulars column is commission to partner let's now post this journal entry to the profit and loss appropriation account let's write commission to partner in the particulars column and the amount in the amount column this is how the balance from the commission to partner account is transferred to the profit and loss appropriation account see this whole exercise is carried out to arrive at how much profit or loss should be distributed to the partners right so after transferring all these balances to the profit and loss appropriation account we should distribute the profits among the partners if there is any profit and distribute the loss among the partners if there is any loss i want to reiterate once again that in case the firm incurs a loss during any accounting period the interest on capital salary and commission will not be paid so in that case only interest on drawings will be considered in the profit and loss appropriation account i repeat the interest on capital salary and remuneration should be considered only if the firm makes profits and these will not be paid to the partners if the firm makes any loss as we have already discussed this profit and loss appropriation account is just an extension of the profit and loss account so a credit balance indicates that there are profits so the profit and loss appropriation account should be debited with the credit balance amount which represents the profits and as these profits will be credited to the partners capital or current accounts we should credit the individual partners capital or current accounts depending on which method of maintenance of capital accounts is followed in the firm now when it comes to posting This journal entry needs to be posted on the debit side of the profit and loss appropriation account and the details that should be written in the particulars column is partners capital or current account. Let's now post this journal entry to the profit and loss appropriation account. Let's write partners capital or current account in the particulars column and the amount in the amount column. Now in case of any loss it will be shown as a debit balance in the profit and loss appropriation account. and hence we should create the profit and loss appropriation account at the same time the individual partners capital accounts will be reduced by the corresponding amount so the capital is decreasing the rule to record any decrease in the capital is to debit the corresponding capital accounts so we should debit the individual partners capital or current accounts now when it comes to posting This journal entry needs to be posted on the credit side of the profit and loss appropriation account and the details that should be written in the particulars column is partners capital or current account. Let's now post this journal entry to the profit and loss appropriation account. Let's write partners capital or current account in the particulars column and the amount in the amount column. That's it about the distribution of profits to the individual partners and the preparation of the profit and loss appropriation account. In the next few videos we'll discuss the illustration problems to understand how we are going to apply these concepts to solve the problems thanks for watching edixit.com is started to promote effective and efficient learning process to help the students with their learning requirements to watch all our videos please subscribe to our channel also please click on the bell icon to receive a notification as soon as a new video is published please click on the like button if you like this video thanks for watching